CD Projekt Red just announced another huge patch for Cyberpunk 2077, which I think no one saw coming. Patch 2.1 will be released in just a few days on the 5th of December, alongside the Ultimate Edition for Cyberpunk and brings a ton of new features and quality of life improvements. On their last Red stream, CDPR devs detailed what is going to be added next Tuesday when the patch drops. We have all those details right here for you, one of which was a total surprise. Before we jump into that, if you love Cyberpunk and Phantom Liberty, or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to our channel and let me know that you did in the comments. We're almost at 100 subscribers and I can't wait to see the community grow. We're doing a full Let's Play series of both Phantom Liberty and the base game since the 2.0 patch. And if you want to catch us live, we stream everything on Twitch and we'll be streaming patch 2.1 as soon as it goes live. With that, let's get back into the 2.1 patch updates and make sure you hang on to the end since there was a huge update that no one expected. Ever wanted to keep listening to that banger on the radio when you pull up in your car on the way to the next gig? Well, now you can with the radio port. CDPR has added a portable radio that you can listen to while walking through Night City. The radio will mute smartly depending on what's happening in the game to make sure that you still get a fully immersive experience much like the cell phone calls do as you're approaching a gig. Uh, boss fights have been updated as well, both in the base game and EP1, the most exciting of which is the Adam Smasher fight. Sounds like CDPR made this way more challenging and that Smasher will act differently based on your build. They also said that Adam Sandy will look a lot more like Adam from the Edge Runners anime. I am super excited about this since we are about to face Adam in our Let's Play series and I'm looking forward to the challenge. Uh, CDPR has also added replayable car races. These will be available after you finish Claire's quest line and offer prize money and discounts on all the vehicles. Speaking of vehicles, the devs have added five new motorcycles and a new Johnny Silverhand Porsche. Additionally, they've updated motorcycle handling and combat, allowing you to use throwing weapons from your bike, as well as perform tricks and stunts. I personally use motorcycles to get around Night City most of the time, since they're my favorite way to travel. And on that note, CDPR says that car chases have been improved as well, and they've finished the highway between Japantown and Wellsprings. Gang factions will now have special events and chases based on your choices. I'm curious to see how that manifests itself in the game, if it's all based on quest lines, or if just killing a whole bunch of Maelstrom causes their faction to try and hunt you down. One of the changes they didn't go into too much detail about, but I'm very excited to see, is romantic partner hangouts and the addition of even more cats in Night City. They also added support for DualSense controllers on PC, as well as improved accessibility options for HUD and UI. And the big update that no one saw coming? They've added the Metro system, despite saying repeatedly that they would not be. The Metro system, known as Night City Area Rapid Transit, or NCART, will have 19 stations and 5 Metro lines that you can ride. It sounds like they're going to have a few hidden items or easter eggs along the way as well, and you can listen to your radio port while you ride. CDPR says it's a great addition for role players, so all you Edge Runner fans that want to pick socket some shards, now you can. I know I'm super excited to explore the stations and have another way to experience Night City. And that's it for the major updates in patch 2.1. They did mention that there were some more fixes and features that will be in the patch notes as well, but that they wouldn't go into detail on their stream. I know a lot of people were disappointed not to hear that New Game Plus is going to be coming, and it sounds like it probably won't be, but let me know in the comments what you think of the patch, if you enjoy the updates, or if you think they've missed the mark. Thanks for hanging out till the end, and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to catch more Cyberpunk content, watch our Let's Play series, and a whole bunch of other gaming content as well. See ya!